What do you do? What do you do? We go by the name. This man is family and welcome to another new video. My name is Trevor Ness. Steve is not here. Today I'm going to talk about myself and uh, the question people have been asking me. And uh, let's get to them. I'll see you. Stay tuned. Got it, I went half when I flipped it in a double. Got it, I went half when I flipped it in a double. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and share. This is my life story. I'll tell you how it, how, how, how it, how it, it has been. So, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe, share, share someone. Maybe he or she is going, going through through the same. So, yeah, please subscribe. Uh, my name is Trevon, Trevon Sinani Onjala. Or you can call me Trevon Brickey when I was I was born in Pumwani on March 27, 1989. That means I'm 32, turning March 27. Uh, my background, my background was uh, my back. Tell you, background was uh, a bit tough. I used to have so much pain, and uh, it taught me a lot and how to build, like as you can see now. Um, as as for my uh, my childhood, um, I remember I was we were we were it was tough. I won't lie, it was very tough. There are things I I didn't see in my life, like uh, having some people having fancy nice stuff. Me, I was having the basic and ordinary stuff. Uh, having some people lives uh, were, were better than ours. But I'm not complaining. I'm I'm grateful to God. And um, we used to. I remember we used to. Hey, well, my life story was really tough when I was young. We used to survive on maize, boiled maize, and wheat porridge. We also know porridge. Yeah. So we could uh, make some whites, buy some the fifty. That time it was fifty. To go bunga, we go make porridge, and that's what we. Survival from morning till evening. Or uh, likely, uh, maybe one of my aunties, aunties come and visit. Uh, it's a maze. We boil the maze. That's what we used to survive with. We porridge in. We have porridge in maize. A boiled maize. As in the ones that are the one big, the, the ones that are not not the, the maize, maize, maize. As in how can I say? Then you see the metal as in the ones that, that have, have been removed from the comb. Comb. <laughs> yeah, so you know what I'm saying right now. My child is in the Congo River. And uh, you can have a point to fry the maize with some little oil. It was dumb, I won't lie. So to survive, to survive on that for the past, like, I think two, two three, four years. But in the total, life is okay because grandpa was there, I was gonna provide and stuff. Hey, now, you take a cup of tea, a cup of so we just get that to a wire. So we haven't been, at that time, we haven't been that stable to gonna survive the way I do as a family. I have been my mom ever since uh, I've been close to my dad uh, these two years from last year. I have been close to my dad. I have been close to my dad. close to my dad. Very close with my dad. But I have I wasn't raised with my father. So I have been close father figure. So like right now I'm not a silly great church. This is life. God has every reason to what has happened. So I believe this two few two years it means it will as in at least I another have a figure so I should go because 
he brought it to me. So I'm getting to know him and he's getting to know me. So yeah, me like like young me for angum stuff. Eh, like young me for angum since we do me. We need to come here. We to go and survive. Come here, Indi. So it has been hard. Life hasn't been easy. See, Najomi, see, I'm, I don't come from a rich family. Like, I'm not people are, who are born with a golden platter. Miss Kuzale, Miss Ajo, Kwashida. Nah, it has been hard for me. It has been really hard for me. And I really pray that, as in the way I've started my family, I hope I take a evil. Najomi, I'm going to buy a little lucky, but Kulak, see, it is not a thing to lack. You can't have everything. No, no. And uh, accept when things are in motion. That's what uh, is happening now. Definitely, it won't happen in the near future. So, take heart, take hope. Just have faith and uh, believe in yourself. Everything has a stage. Every matter to drops people at a stage. So, yeah, I believe uh, this is just a passing cloud. Things will get back to normal. Me, sickness have I have been my life, man. If I start, so many people are going through a lot. Let uh, don't let uh, small small things that you can rectify and affect your, your future. So just believe in yourself, work hard, and uh, it's, it's, it's okay to beg if you don't have beg. But I'm so sure you'll never beg for the rest of your life. It will reach a point that you, you'll have. God, God listens to prayers and uh, definitely you receive what you want just believe me I believe I'll, I'll, I'll be healed I'll have more years I'll achieve my goals I'm turning that too and yet I haven't achieved most of my goals but what, I've, what I'm really proud of I have a kid I can say that's an achievement uh, she's not a burden I will take care where I can while I'm still alive and uh, what else? Uh, I have achieved some I have achieved some I have achieved more friends more followers almost over 18,000 I am grateful any I've never been happy having like it. I've been a YouTuber for, since 2012 that time, that time I was starting, and I didn't know what to do. I met Cindy, he's the one who changed the channel to, to what it is now. I'm grateful for her. Um, I've learned a lot. Don't judge me if you don't know me. And if you, even if you know me, don't judge me. God, God, definitely, God will judge you. You have no right to judge anyone and I have no right to judge anyone if I've and I've gained anything in my life. I have no right to uh, take people for granted. I have no right to judge anyone. So yeah, I don't have any right to judge anyone. Not because I have. Don't judge anyone because you have. You never know tomorrow. God has a funny way of giving and taking. I've seen so many people rise and fall. Be kind. Be positive. Be nice to people. You never know. My platform is free for anyone who wants to uh, get in touch with me. I will help where I can because I've seen help from so many people. I know people don't who, 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 who don't even know me have been there for me always since day one. Since I had my, my story, as in I've had so much love from people and I'm really grateful. I don't take anyone for granted. 
So please, before you judge me, get to know me. We are all sinners, we are all visitors in this world. I won't leave this world with my luxury stuff. This camera that I'm using, I will leave it here. This house that I'm staying in, I will leave it here. I won't go with it anyway. Like I said, I was raised in an, an, an humble background. I wasn't raised to judge anyone. I wasn't raised to criticize anyone. I wasn't raised to take advantage of anyone. It really hurts when someone thinks you pity when telling him or her, him or her the truth. How does pity come through? Come in when you, you, you try to tell someone you're wrong, be this. Is that where pity comes? Comes in. It doesn't work like that. This life is a circle. What goes around comes around. So treat people nicely if you want to be treated nicely. I am Trevor Ness. And uh, I'm making this video out because People judge me a lot, and it's not nice. People judge people, and yet they don't know them. Stay positive. See you in our next video. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment, and share. We are the Sinanis family. Go follow Mikaela Sinanis channel. It's at 100 and something. Please, let's grow. Make sure you subscribe on the Sinani's like and comment and don't forget to turn on your notifications. Bye!